My name is Betsy Lewis. I work at KRA. I am the calendar slash production coordinator for Art and Seek, the new arts initiative here. And I am also now the assistant producer of Think and Anything You Ever Wanted to Know. And I am a newly minted MFA from the Arts and Technology program. Newly minted two and a half months. I, I didn't take any gaming, don't care about that, didn't take animation, not into that. But in addition to the classes in the ATEC building, I took lit classes, I took art history classes, I took three business classes, and all of these did apply to my degree both technically and they also applied to what I was interested in anyway. So all of these disparate areas were still feeding that ATEC degree. I have two job titles. One is the calendar slash production coordinator for artandseek.org really not even .org, it's not just because they do other things besides org. So production coordinator for Art and & Seek, and then as of last Thursday, I am now also the assistant producer for Think and Anything You Ever Wanted to Know. ATEC, there's, there are a lot of ways ATEC prepared me for this. Um, the new media theory jumps out, and I don't even think most people in ATEC realize they're getting that, or maybe they're not getting it, but when Dean would assign a book for a class and then we would never ever talk about it again, I would actually read those books during the break. And they do matter. Working at a media company now, people who have been here 20 years or um, actually a big percentage of the newer people at KERA come from the Dallas Morning News. So traditional newspapers are on a steep decline um, and the media companies like KERA or probably any television station, are now becoming concerned with their website. And th but they don't fully understand what that transition means. So ATEC prepared me for um, like what the web can be on a bigger level and how users, like what, what the internet means in society I hope I'm not being too like touchy-feely with all this stuff, but um, when I put my two cents in in a meeting, it's, it's to emphasize things like um, websites don't have readers, they have users. And the difference between readers and users is the users call the shots. So with a traditional media source like a newspaper, it's, that's an authoritarian form saying, here's the list of what's hot to do this weekend. Well, with a website, the users get to decide what's good to do that weekend. You can give them all the choices, but you don't get to say what reigns. So that's, that's where the new media theory comes in. But it's also things like the way I did my degree was I kept taking classes where I was the dumbest person in the room. And that prepared me in two ways. First of all, if you're, the, if you're the dumbass in the room, the amount you learn between the first day of class and the last day of class is going to be huge. And if you take what you already know over and over and over, you're going to grow maybe that much. So um, part of doing that, though, part of the cost of doing that is people will treat you like you're the dumbest person in the room. That's OK. What does that do? It thickens your skin. And you're going to need that out in the real world anyway. My first year and a half in ATEC, I had a big, I complained a lot, I bitched a lot, because I felt like the attitude was, go teach yourself, we'll give you credit. And, and I was like, what am I paying you for? There's no guidance here. And, but I actually used that line over and over when I was interviewing for this job, because what that gave me was self-sufficiency. But of course, video was what I wanted to learn. My schedule never fit in any time there was a video class to take. I did have to basically teach myself. Um, so on the one hand, I can bitch that, well, I taught myself, so what am I paying ATEC for? But I probably wouldn't have taught myself without ATEC. What that gave me was self-sufficiency so that any time I need to learn something, I can figure it out myself. And I pitched that in my interview for here that I can teach myself basically anything um, if I'm allowed to make the mistakes. 
of course, they don't want to like pay you to make the mistakes, but that's inevitable. That's going to happen. Um, and I think Dean Terry once said, or at least I got this from him somehow, whatever the technology is today, five years from now, it's going to be something totally different. So you can be the master in any software, and you're going to be obsolete in five years. So you better be able to figure it out as fast as you can. And um, people, people out in the real world who haven't thrown themselves wildly into that new media situation where they're the dumbest person in the room, they're terrified. But the other thing ATEC did was give me the basics. I had a whole conversation with the techie people here about external hard drives. I could not have done that three years ago. I knew nothing. I knew nothing when I started ATEC. I forgot what I was saying. What did I do before this? Or how did I get this job? So last, I guess uh, 14 months ago, there was an opening for, there was a part-time opening to be the producer's assistant for Think. And I thought, oh my god, that's my job. That's my job. And I wasn't done with school yet, so that was perfect if I could work a school schedule around a part-time job at KRA. It's something, I do have, um, a background in TV production before I started grad school. So um, I interviewed with Jeff Whittington. I knew I had to be politically smart about getting this job and pull out every strength I had. Um, Dean Terry has had documentaries air on KRA, so he was my number one reference. Um, and I thought I had it, and I didn't. I was the first runner up. So when Jeff Whittington called to tell me that I did not get it, which was pretty significant anyway that, that a person would call to tell you no. He told me to apply for the production coordinator job with the new arts unit. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna, that, that's so going on my cover letter that Jeff Whittington told me to do that. So that was the next thing was starting to apply for that. Um, Whittington did the, made the phone call and did the interview and made his decision it, within a few weeks. It was less than a month. The Art and Seek application process took eight months, and I went through eight different interviews, and some, some of the eight interview days, some of those days were with one person, some of those days were with four people. Um, I had to jump through a lot of hoops. They needed a writing sample of different kinds. Um, they, need, they wanted to critique the website. They wanted, I mean, all kinds of things. And it was frustrating. I would go sometimes six weeks without hearing back from them. Um, but it got to the point where after six months, some of my friends were saying, you're not going through one more interview. You've done enough. You've done enough. But my attitude was, after six months, do you really think I'm going to hand this job to somebody else? Like it got to the point where I felt like I was, whoever my competition was, was going to have to get by me to get this job. And the only, it, it was real, the description of the job, they wanted like somebody who could do everything what I didn't have was journalism experience. I had none. The one thing that kept me going was that Whittington had told me he was an English major and he didn't have journalism experience. But everything else they wanted, I was. I, could, I knew new media stuff. Um, I, could, I had production experience, both on um, like the student level of hands-on doing it myself, plus I had worked on film sets. I had an IMDb page before I ever even started ATEC, which weirdly impressed people in ATEC when they found out about it. Um, like, you have an IMDb page? You? 